Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, hello, my name is Luz. I'm so glad you clicked on this video. I would highly request if you subscribe if you haven't already. I would appreciate that. Okay, so this video is a step-by-step -step tutorial on a Galaxy video I did a while back. Click on the right-hand corner to check out the original. I've got so many questions about what paints or brushes I used, and well, here I am redoing this video. These are the paints I use, but by all means, if you don't have this brand, you can pretty much use whatever that is similar. The colors are black, white, blue, and a purple slash pink paint. I'll definitely leave the actual names of the paints down on the description. Again, you don't have to use this brand. In fact, I used this black paint I had from years ago and it did the job. You can use whatever brushes. These are some examples of what you can use. You can use a palette knife to mix your paint. I didn't use one because I had a small canvas to draw on, but I'm showing you just in case you have a bigger project. You also need tape. This one I would not recommend, but I couldn't find my other blue painter's tape. and. Well, at the end of the video, you'll see my little oops. Okay, so in my original video, I did it on a 9x12 mixed media paper. I'm using the same paper, except I want my project to be smaller. So what I'm doing here is laying down my tape. I'm just going to do a triangle. I do this so I wouldn't get paint outside of where I'm going to paint. Make sure your tape is secure and paint can't go under the tape. So smooth it out as much as you can. Next step is to start painting. I'm going to use a big flat brush. Again, I'll list all the actual names and see if I can find the links and all that. I'll put it down in the description below. And I'm just going to paint my background black. Super easy. I can do this with my left hand. You really can't mess this up. <laughs> Make sure you do a thin layer. Don't just plop a lot of paint on there. Otherwise, it will dry longer and you'll probably have some weird texture going on. Anyways, I'm going to be quiet now and just let you watch me paint a black triangle. Okay, now after I finish painting the background solid black, I let it dry. Good thing I'm editing because boom, it's dry. <laughs> Alrighty, next step I use a small flat brush. If you have a bigger project, then do it with a bigger flat brush. If you don't have a flat brush, you can use a round brush as well. I love this brush for this because it made it easier to make the cloud effects. I think they're clouds. Correct me if I'm wrong, please. Well, in my galaxy, they are clouds. Okay, next step, I'm dipping my brush in the actual paint tube because for now I just need a little bit of the solid blue since it's just a small painting I'm doing. So with my brush, I'm just doing a press down crisscross movement to create the cloud effect. I'm also going to zoom in a little bit so you can see what I'm doing in detail. So yeah, it's just a crisscross movement. And again, just that solid blue for right now. I didn't add water to my brush yet. You can if you want, but I didn't feel the need I should have. Also, you won't be able to see much of the blue on the black background yet. That's when the white paint comes in and you can make that blue a tad bit lighter. But right now, I'm just placing where I want my galaxy blue cloud to be. I'm sorry y'all, I'm not knowledgeable on space. I find it beautiful and it makes for a good painting, but it's not my expertise. If you do know anything about space, feel free to comment down below and tell me about it. I would love to learn. So here you see me dipping my brush back into that blue paint and swirling around the brush on the black background. Again, I haven't added water or nothing. It's just one blue paint. But right next to me, I do have an old picture frame glass that I use to put my paint on to mix them. I'll show you right now what I'm talking about. This is my little setup, the behind the scenes. I got my camera filming, it's kind of like Inception, <laughs> and my bright lights. Anyway, so now I wanna have that blue paint pop a little, so I put a tiny bit on my glass frame, as you can see, and I'm gonna grab my white paint, which I was a little heavy hand with this, and, and put a lot of white paint on the glass. Don't worry, it didn't go to waste. I put some of it back, but yeah. I'm just gonna mix a little of the white and blue to make a light blue. Same brush, I haven't added water yet. Make sure you don't have too much white while you mix it with the blue. You just need a little hint of it. So while that is mixed, I go back, same motion, swirl and crisscross my blue clouds. See, 
what a difference that makes. So with that new color, I placed it on top of some of the other blue that was already there. The key in our galaxy is different levels of colors. So once you know where you want that blue cloud, do a line across your project. So my upper left corner to bottom right corner, yours can go whichever direction. This is your galaxy, you can do it however you want. Now I get my purple slash pink paint and I dip my brush that still has some of that light blue paint into the tube. I didn't have much of that purple left so I didn't bother putting it on the glass. But if you do have more than what I have then yes, put it on the glass or whatever mixing surface you're using and go from there. Anyways, I digress, same technique. Swirl and crisscross your purple clouds. You can barely see the color, but that's what you want. You want to build up your colors, make that effect of purple or blue clouds in the distance. That's how you make it look more realistic looking. Okay, so now you see the purple a little bit more. I have now did what I did with the white and blue paint and I did it with the purple. So on my glass next to me, I mixed a little white and purple to create this light purple. I know I sound super annoying right now, but I really want this video to be really detailed enough. Okay, so I added more white to my purple paint and in the middle of that blue cloud line, I brushed a tiny oval. Well, it's not exactly an oval, but just a cloud formation in the middle of it that spreads out a little, but don't bring it all the way. It kind of looks like an explosion. Yeah, sure, we'll call, we'll call it that, an explosion. But yeah, just spread it out and make it look natural and leave little pockets of that black showing also. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom out and you can see so far it does look like a galaxy. It still amazes me. I really don't know how I do it, but I'm glad that I can show you and I hope I make sense on the process of all this. So right now I'm just building my colors and just going layer by layer. It's super easy. Again, I'll stay quiet and you could just watch me make the colors pop. Okay, so at this point I did clean my brush and now I have white paint. I'm going to dab a little of the white in the middle of the explosion. Same flat brush, I haven't changed it by the way. And if it doesn't look super white, it's probably because your paint isn't dry yet. Wait a bit, then put on the white paint so it doesn't mix with the other colors, if that makes sense. I went ahead and added a tad bit of purple to make light purple and I just placed it around the galaxy but barely showing. So you can see I'm literally painting on the tape but making sure it gets a little on that edge of the background. I also wanted to show you this because maybe you might have had a cloud that you didn't like or it was just too light. It's okay. You can go over that with black paint and fix it. If you really think about it, there's really no right or wrong on how to do this. It's your galaxy. Now for the final step to our galaxy is adding our stars. You can use a very fine tip brush and poke at it one by one. You can even use a toothpick if you don't have a fine tip brush. This technique is very tedious. It takes a longer time if you're just gonna do this. I went ahead and cleaned my flat brush and I got some of that white paint. I have my water here and you wanna dip your brush with your white paint on it under the water and then kind of shake it in there to get those excess big drops so you don't have big water droplets on your project. Then I think I was eight inches above the painting and I used my thumb to flicker the diluted white paint onto the canvas to create tiny little stars. I know the camera you can barely see it but it is creating that effect. It's an easy technique. Now 
Now you might not have gotten all that excess water out of the brush after you dipped it in the water and this might have happened. It's okay. No need to panic. This can be fixed. Your painting is not ruined, but you do have to work fast. So go ahead and grab some black paint, clean brush or not. Doesn't matter, you just wanna paint over those big water droplets. It's an easy fix. See, in a way it kinda looks like more clouds, so it can be fixed. All right, that's basically it. Your galaxy should look something like this. Now it's time to peel off that tape. Now, remember earlier in the video about using this tape? Yeah, it wasn't all that great. Yeah, I'd ripped the paper, but I somehow managed to salvage it. Thank goodness this wasn't a gift for someone, otherwise I would have been very sad. I know I should have had this video a long time ago, and well I did, I filmed it, but somehow my camera messed up and I had to redo the whole thing. So um, again, I'm sorry it took so long, but yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and also hit that notification bell to get notified when I post a new video. Yeah, see here's the other painting where my camera messed up. <laughs> oh well. Anyways, thanks and I will see y'all next time.